Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Drive with me, Get Daved. In the last video, we, uh, well, in the one before it we were threatened. In the last video, someone declared war on us, they took one of our planets, and then we took it back. Uh, I had a massive fleet, well, I had an adequate fleet waiting for them, but they managed to sneak back some transports, and it took a long time for us to recover from that. But recover we have. Impossible. Oh, it's a scout. All right. I was gonna say, like, considering where they're based, it would be pretty hard for them to get over here. Also, they were building towards us with projectors from that star system. So you know what that means. It means I need one brave volunteer. Go see what's there. We also got, oh wow, things are actually starting to look pretty good here. We got a bunch of research, we got a bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch of exciting new technologies for us to work with. Working on energy shielding, once we get that, oh, a new, a new era will begin. That would be a good time to take care of a lot of uh, techs I've left lying around just for a little bit. Shipyards are nice to have. It makes producing ships cheaper. Um, but uh, they are pretty expensive to build. Have the first tier techs. Deuterium fuel cells are nice but I'm not going to get caught up in that right now. Energy weapons are also kind of nice. They don't require ordnance, but, uh, well, there's problems with them, too. Flat 10% research bonus, that's nice. Cryogenics would be kind of nice to get around to as well. Actually, there's a lot of techs we could, uh, get around to. Go with cryogenics and then try moving on to biospheres. Most of the enemy ships we're encountering are of the smaller variety, so... Alright, now that I've let a little bit of time pass, I'm just going to try getting back in touch with the Empire. Make sure everybody has a few troops stationed where they are. And we'll get back to military production now. Get me some Hornets. Verti. Fantastic to see them get starting to really start to flourish. It'd be nice if they could have some protection out here. I'm going to buy the military outpost just so we can finally get everything queued up properly here. This one's more the agricultural colony. Their real role is to feed their neighbors if need be. If I were really into micromanaging, I would, uh, you know, make sure all those little things were happening. But uh, I'm not too great for it. Energy shielding unlocked. Oh man. As soon as we get armor, we're going to do a ship design. There we go. And really, I'm, I'm really thrilled with the uh, setup we've got with our empire right now. And to the shipyard. Okay, we've got Corvettes. This is a really nice layout, I think. Not as good for the heavy firepower, I guess, but let's do this properly. It all starts with the fuel cell. 
and I'm predominantly going to want combat performance out of this thing. Oh, I'm going to turn orcs on right away as well. I often like to employ one uh, warp engine and then the rest combat thrusters. Alright, we might actually have to move that reactor. Because it looks like it happens to be in the best place to position the shield. That's okay. other side. Yeah, we're at negative recharge at warp, which is something I like to avoid. Reserve a little bit of space. We'll drop a power conduit. There. And let's see what we can do. These would be really good for some of the other weapon technologies, those sorts of spaces right there. Alright, uh, so that one slot there isn't going to get power, unfortunately. can rotate the weapon arcs on ships. I always find it to be a little bit of a nuisance with these ones. I wish there were like a could use like Q or E to rotate it. If any of you know a good shortcut for rotating the weapon arcs, let me know. I'm not gonna get too caught up in that right now. Uh, we can also have some po oh wait we need ordnance. Heh <laughs> heh That'd be pretty hilarious to forget. Hmm. The large ordnance hold is a lot more efficient, but I don't think we have, realistically, the space for it. Not with the way this thing's configured. We could put a really huge gun in those spots. Actually, I'm going to experiment with that. Okay, so these bad boys are on swivel turrets. So we'll rotate the arcs. We've still got the forward covered, but it gives us some options. Ordnance per shot, only one and a half. That's not bad at all. And we don't have a cockpit, do we? Yes, we're missing that. Okay. So where to put it? <laughs> it's still unpowered. don't have that much armor on this thing and we have more recharge than we actually need so let's see if we can do something to enhance that as well have some steel armor no internal bulkheads which means a chain reaction could make everything go horribly wrong but I'm hoping the shields will be okay for that That nerfed that. Go brain, go. Put the little reactor and two power conduits. That gets energy to everything.
Seriously. Now we're at negative power. Okay. Everything's good now. Only thing is the ship's a little fragile. We'll sneak that in. Should reach a happy medium. Really the shield's gonna do most of the protecting on this and quite frankly I don't know. I mean this is day two after the official release. I just don't know that much about uh, the nuances of the uh, ship design. We'll just call it the Razor for sh like in a more simple name, just for simplicity. And now let's get some of those built. Wish that were on by default. Fleet supplies coming up, good. Fleet supply contains a number of interesting techs. Good, they're starting to get ground units. Razor R? I guess that's Razor Rocket Edition. Get me my razors. That'll take them a little while to get around to. Also, since we've got an abundance of money, I'm gonna start training up my agents again. I'm gonna just use them in defensive roles for now. Our military is number two, that's interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna poll everybody again and see if we can get some research going on here. We had to give up a, a pretty good tech to get that, but in terms of research cost, that was beneficial for us. So we're just going to adjust my mic here. They've got nothing. And they've got nothing. All right, Xeno Mining is a really nice technology that increases your output by half a production per unit. So, long story short, at any well-populated planet, actually pretty much everywhere will want one. Definitely here. Get a couple razors. This place will really benefit in the long run from one. <laughs> Still just trying to get off its feet. That's all right, it was a recent colonization. Tor. Oh, whoops. That was the home world there. I started on bull accidentally. I wonder how long I've been making that mistake. Don't answer. Let's accidentally select that a few more times. Looks like we've got a constellation going, actually. It's the really little dipper. Hmm, we got a troop transport there. Okay. My ears. All right, the maiden system. Did we get a scan on there? No. Fleet supply unlocked. 
plus two levels for our agent. That'll make up for the one where Ursa Bear did nothing. Stay alive. Oh, it's toast. Oh, hey. Okay, so they've discovered rockets. We do happen to have a lot of ships loaded with Vulcan uh, cannons, which are point defense, which will help protect against that, but may still be worth a couple adjustments. We've got a great research rate, though. That's going to play to our favor very shortly. I mean, already we have much more advanced ships than them, but seriously, this is going to be great. Well, that's nothing special. I'm wondering if we have any of our razors yet. Might be available. Oh yeah, we've got tons. We got so many razors. They don't carry a ton of ammo, but now that we have fleet supply, let's see if we can design a support ship. Hmm. Also, Okay, let's see what we can do here. So this thing's primarily going to be a mothership slash, yeah, resupply vessel. So most important thing, get the shield up. Next, get some power. And getting sufficient energy to this thing is probably going to be a significant struggle. I'm just plopping two of those for now. Um, we'll go with the same engine configuration, or ratios anyway, as everybody else. Okay, repair drone launcher. So, it does require a lot of ordnance, but it's going to yeah help repair everybody. some of those. Alright, an ordnance fabricator. So, plus two ordnance per second, but it draws insane energy. So, like, this thing can barely maintain its speed at warp. We need a cockpit. And then the ordnance supply bay. So, that will ferry ordnance to other ships in the fleet and help keep them, you know, running. Okay, now comes the geometry problem of getting all of these systems in a ship shaped like this. I could move this up one, but I don't want to do that. Okay, we just don't put the cockpit there. Replace that with an, the power plant. It's still got deplorable warp stats. 
also its ordnance capacity is only 150. Uh, that's probably enough to be honest. It's going to shell out most of it. Fuel cells are tempting. Let's go with the absolute necessities first though. Have to have a cockpit. Some cannons just to help protect it. And then... Honestly, one more nuclear reactor wouldn't hurt. Please turn. Well, I never wanted to rotate it anyway. And it's got a fantastic turn rate. So the one thing... Yeah, we want it to hang back. Good enough. All right. I think that's good enough. Uh, I wish it could have, like, it's gonna really struggle. Pardon me, struggle to keep pace with a fleet that's at warp. But that's just part of it. Its power capacity is nice and low, so it's gonna be stutter stepping like crazy. You know what? We may need fuel cells instead. Holds 250. These things are essentially immobile. But it's a start. We'll call it a base star. Not exactly starship star-shaped, but uh, I'm okay with that. It's got the term base in its name. It will debase my enemies. Get some razors in there. Shipyards unlocked. We'll definitely want one at the home world. It's under station. Whew. Come at a price. All right, now with all that taken care of, prepare the invasion fleet. All right, how are things going here? these would be nice to have. Okay, not sure why I was researching. I should have thought that through a little bit more carefully. We can afford to import some food here. Not gonna worry about that. We'll let the transports worry about it. Your new job is churning out soldiers. Yeah, and that's the most important thing you're gonna do. Culture! star so I should probably get focused on that but truthfully I'm a little antsy to get to go visit the Opterus all 
All right. Let's go for it. We'll send the fleet into the maiden system first. And we'll transport the, sh the soldiers afterwards. Sounded like seven to my ears. Cryogenics. And now biospheres. Starting to have a little bit of a financial issue here. Our research is so high though. Let's just take a look at the empire-wide stats real quick. You know, and that's with Rathi really heavily focused on production. Hmm. As our population goes up, that'll probably help quite a bit. Alright everybody, and I believe on this note I'm going to end the video. I'll see you all in the next episode, and who knows what happens when we arrive. Bye everybody!